Hey family. All right, so I've been out the truck for a while. <laughs> been celebrating the holiday season with the fam. I'm in North Carolina with the kids again now. And, you know, went through Thanksgiving. Then went through Christmas. Even did New Year's yesterday. Well, today is the last day of Kwanzaa. <sighs> so I'm supposed to say Habari Ghani. And your response is supposed to be Imani. Yay! Imani, my self-proclaimed middle name. Yes. Well, on the last day of Kwanzaa, there's supposed to be a feast, a karamu, a festival. And I don't know, we got one or two people coming over, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to cook some stuff. I'm going to do some stuff. <laughs> so, hey, happy holiday season. It's the last day of the holiday season. Happy Kwanzaa. Let's go. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. Uh -huh. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show, Big Taste in a Small Space with me, T. So first I gotta give a shout out to my reason for breathing, my reason for getting up, the Patui twins <laughs> the whole reason i want to do anything and everything in life my daughters the filmmaker and the sous chefs joy and jasmine i mean really where would i be without them so i started cooking some goat meat about nine o'clock this morning cooked it for about a good five hours before i did what i'm doing now which is taking it out the crock pot setting it aside so that I can, <clears throat> excuse me, pour my liquid into the oil separator, separate that, and while I'm doing that, I started making some curry sauce in a separate pot. You know, some coconut milk, curry seasoning, a bunch of other stuff. We'll get lessons later. Then I pour that plus the, uh, you know, simmer it and pour the separated liquid from the oil back into the pot with the curry and do as my mother said I always do. Stir, 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 stir. Then it was time to make my ceviche. It might have been good because I had to make it twice. It went fast, fast, fast before we could even get to the goat. I had to make a second batch. So I made my ceviche with one orange, two limes, two lemons, small shrimp that I kind of pre-cooked a little bit, some celery, some sweet peppers. We'll make it in the truck. We'll make it on the show. I'll show you everything. But there's my daughter's plate and she liked it because it's gone. So at this point, there's people in and out. So I made just some basic yams. But with the yams, my younger daughter had some mixed uh, sweet potatoes, yams, and she cooked that up, warmed it up, put a little of the curry sauce on it. And I'm stirring the pot because we're about ready to Go. eat now. Let's go. Monkey. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that looks like my daughter Joy's plate uh, with the goat meat, uh, yams. Some collard greens, the salad in the back, some champagne. And a big shout out to Richie Rich, Richard Benjamin. He brought these huge oysters. I gotta get a picture of them, but these things was huge, fresh, and delicious. And this is what's left of some of the donuts that I had for dessert. So right now my belly's full of food. My heart is full of love from all the time I had with the family. <gasps> and my mind's a little full of champagne. But hey, shout out to the filming crew and everybody else who came through. I have had a wonderful time 
on all this vacation I took that I almost never take. If you know me, I keep it moving. But I needed that from the time I took off for Thanksgiving to this time I took off for Hanukkah, Christmas, and Kwanzaa. I had a ball. But I think it's time tomorrow I'm going to pack my truck early because I don't even know if I'm leaving tomorrow or the next day. But <sighs> time to hit the road, Jack. But I will be back some more. <laughs> so, Ramsey, hope you had fun because I sure did. Hey, people, we'll see you on the road in a minute. Big taste in a small space. We're going to be cooking some stuff. Get ready. <laughs>